Hey guys, welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna be recreating another old photograph. There is one more person that people guessed was the little girl in the photo the first time that I did this in my video recreating a photo of my historical twin. So many people thought it was Marie Doro and I recreated a photo of Marie Doro a few weeks back, but quite a few people also thought that the girl was Lillian Gish. So today I thought it would be fun if I recreated a photo of her, just like I did previous two times. I did want to do a little bit of a different photo, so one that is not just a portrait against a white background. Um, to give myself a little bit more of a challenge, I have Robert here with me today to take the photo, so that makes things a little bit easier again. This is the photo that I chose. I have done a Beauty Beacons video on Lillian Gish a few years back, so I don't want to use the same photo, obviously. It's a really cool photo, in my opinion, so I really hope we'll be able to recreate it. I feel like a lot of this photo is going to be the lighting and the setting and things like that and not necessarily so much the hair and makeup. Let's get started, I guess. I am going to start with the hair, actually, this time. I'm gonna curl all of it, and then I'm gonna do my makeup while I wait for my curls to set. I have my little curling iron here. I feel like it's often best when I'm trying to imitate pin curls, or something that would have been pin curls. And I'm just gonna curl all of my hair using this. Every time I finish a curl, I'm just gonna pin it to my head, and then wait for it to set. Let's do the makeup while I wait for my curls to set. So I think I'm gonna do just very minimal makeup. Honestly, I think the only thing she's wearing is powder and lipstick. In any case, I'm gonna start with a base, a little bit of foundation, so that there is as little going on in my face as possible. Although I don't think it matters too much because I feel like a lot's gonna be washed out um, in editing. But still, the less you need to do in editing, the better. Bit of concealer on my dark circles. And I definitely need concealer on my lips as well, because like her biggest thing is that she has very, very tiny lips. So I'm gonna have to fake my way to that. For the lips themselves, I have a dark red lip pencil here I'm gonna use to draw them in. Okay, I think as tiny as possible is what I need to go for. try and see if I can use this lipstick sealer. I've had this for a while, I haven't used it much, but I really don't want this to bleed because then, you know, it's gonna defeat the whole purpose of doing this. So let's hope this works. I don't think she's wearing eyeliner, but I do think I'm gonna apply some anyway because I think it's through the lighting that her eye looks so dark on the bottom edge and I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna be able to get that effect with my lighting as well, just so that I'm sure that I have that dark edge around my eyes. The last thing I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of a powder just to set everything in place. That's makeup done, let's move on to hair. So I'm gonna start by taking down my curls again. I'm gonna loosen these up with my hands a little bit and then I'm gonna brush them out. And I think I just need to make a few little bumps kind of around the edge of my hairline. I do believe that was quite a common hairstyle in the 20s for women who had longer hair to still, you know, have that fashionable kind of bob-like silhouette. Because I know that Lillian had gorgeous, super long hair. I 
gonna have to find a way to retain this texture but make my hair 20s flat instead of 40s fluffy. <laughs> I think I need to work with bobby pins in any case to pin my bangs back. That's good because that's gonna give me a little bit of texture I guess. really gonna be bun so I'm just kind of going to go around and pin up some of these curls this is the first photo where I'm gonna have to make sure that it actually looks good from all angles. I'm gonna have the mirrors next to me that are going to reveal the back of this hairstyle so I'm gonna have to go and check in the mirror in a bit. I think this is pretty good but I do think my front bits are a little bit too high. I need another bobby pin right around here maybe. I really really like this. I keep wearing this for the rest of the day. The outfit for this one is pretty simple. It's a trench coat. I have built a little bit of a set, but the thing is, I only really have one full length ish mirror. The one which is usually over here. And there is one more, but it is in the kind of on the inside of the door to our utility closet. So it's a little bit of a strange set. And I hope it's gonna work. It's the best I can do, I think. Let's move to the hallway. Here we are. This is it. I have a chair down here. Oh yeah, these are the two mirrors I have. This <laughs> is our um, coat hang thing. This is gonna be my light source. I do believe that's the direction it needs to come from. I think it's time to try and take the photo. Time to pick out the best photo and try and edit it. It took a while before we found the best lighting and the angles and everything. I think I need to skip. Yeah, I think this is better lighting wise. I think this might be the one. Okay, I'm gonna start by cropping. Don't need to see all of those baking <laughs> supplies in the background. So I think about that much. I'm gonna start by getting rid of that birthmark. I need it to raise my eyebrows to get them a bit higher, but I don't need all of these wrinkles here. Something I always do when I do this is to bring down the tone of the highlights and bring up the tone of the lowlights because I feel like that often helps to really sell the vintage look just because it is on the one hand super contrasty but on the other hand it's not I guess. It's just that the highlights are never truly white and the lowlights are never truly black. I'm gonna try something, I'm not sure it's gonna work, but you know, might as well try. 
gonna see if I can make this coat look like it's a darker color. You know, this is the great thing about black and white photos, you can get away with stuff like this a lot more easily. Not too bad, I think. Maybe it doesn't have to be as dramatic, but... I am actually surprised how well that worked. Alright, so this is my final result. I am actually really, really happy with the way it turned out. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be this similar. I feel like I don't look like her much when it comes to face, but I am very happy with the way we've been able to recreate this photo with like just stuff I already had around the house. Yeah, I am very, very happy with it and I think it's a really cool photo just in general. This was really fun, so a really, really fun challenge again. Really enjoyed doing it and I am very happy with the result this time. Even though it's not 100% the same, it is similar enough that I'm very proud of this one. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed watching my little challenge guys trying to recreate a 1929 photo of Lillian Gish if you did enjoy don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content if you would like to support me through patreon or my merch store there will be links in the description box below thank you so much for your support there is another video here that i think you might also enjoy you can go watch next thank you for watching and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye